the Manata Market located at Accra New Town. Dr. Henry Lati and I are here to pick some of the ingredients that he will be using to prepare his roast lamb with sauce and rice. As you can see, I already have the roast lamb here that we picked from the supermarket. So we are here to pick some of the vegetables that we need to make that delicious food. Mr. Henry, are you okay? I'm very okay, thank okay. you. Do you mind if I call you Henry? Oh yes, you always call me Henry, so go on. <laughs> I'm sure you need some onions. You can miss. Madam, I think. On. Yeah, when I attend to this. Now, where are you? 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 Where are Five cities. Where are you? 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 Where are Oh really? That is really nice of you. Five cities. Yeah. Where I look I are back here in the kitchen ready to give you a fantastic meal. This show is proudly brought to you by Swiss Spirit Hotels Alisa located at Ridge where our beautiful kitchen is at the moment and by Remy Spices. Remy and my Idrani Yede and of course a Napa Yede. Soko soko soko. And Hisense home of quality and affordable home appliances and electronics. So come with me let me catch up with my guests. Okay, so Dr. Henry, we're here in the kitchen and as you can see, your things have been prepared for you, all the ingredients that you asked for. So tell us what you're going to be doing today. <clears throat> well, I'll, I'll be cooking um, roast lamb mm. with, <clears throat> with um, tomato sauce, with a lot of garlic, with rice. With rice. Okay, I look forward to tasting that. So how do we start? Well, I'll start now. Um, let's see what I do. I have to get some holes into the okay. lamp. And then I'll put garlic into okay. the holes. Yeah. Just the garlic? Yeah, just the garlic. How about mm. the ginger and the onions? It's, it's in the main... Um, but is blending them and putting them in the holes, holes optional? No, this is to really give you some. The garlic in food is very good for you. Mm. Mm. So you, you. You taste the garlic in the meat. Smack garlic in the meat. I've been doing this for years. Oh, for years? Okay. It's one of my favorite dishes. Oh. Roast lamb with um, tomato sauce and rice. With garlic. 
Metallic. Yeah. Metallic is very important to you, isn't it? Yes, I, I, metallic is good for you. Mm. It's very good. It's very healthy. Now, seeing as this is one of your favorite dishes, I suppose this is when we were based in Europe. I, I do it here. You do it here yeah. too. Okay. But I know you've mo you've lived most of your life and worked in Europe as well before finally coming to Ghana yes. to bathe mm -hmm. here. Yes, I grew up in the UK. Oh. As a young man. <clears throat> and um, actually, I didn't know how to cook very well. And I did ask my mother, and she gave me lessons. You asked her? Yeah. I wrote to her. At that time, we didn't have any <laughs> So she was home, yes. and you were back in UK. Yeah. And I wrote to her. Mm -hmm. And she sent me the recipe and everything. Mm. And ever since then, I think I've become an expert with this. Oh wow. Kind of here. It's okay, so we can chop it off. Let me grab the tissue for that. Yes, yeah, so the old lady taught me how to cook. In, but, in writing. Hmm. So besides the lamb chops and the other continental dishes that I'm sure you, you, you know how to cook them very well, which local dishes do you mostly prepare as well? Okro stew. Ooh. And um, palava sauce. And palava sauce. And tumbre. I love it because that's also very healthy. Mm. It's important to eat the right food. Mm. You are what you eat. Yes, definitely. And talking about you are what you eat, I know that um, your company, Latte Associates, yes. <clears throat> mainly um, exports of foods from Ghana to Europe yes. and other parts of the world. Why the interest? How did it all come about? It's quite funny, actually. <clears throat> um, growing up in the UK, mm. I ended up in the financial services. <clears throat> I was working for one of the best financial services companies called do you need to like help with that? Don't worry, I'll get it. Or should I get you a bigger knife? Bigger knife. I'll, I'll sorry that, don't worry. Okay. See? All this is fat. Fat is good as well. And I love cooking. Cooking it's... helps me to... Relax. Relax. I don't have stress when I'm cooking. Mm. So it's and some sort of a hobby. You know, it's become more of a hobby yes. that you enjoy doing. Some people don't like it, but I, yeah. I do. So how often do you cook in a week? Well, in Ghana, not, not that much, but at least twice a week. I bring food. So what oil, what, I see two different types of oil there. Which one are this you This is olive oil. Olive oil. Which is very healthy too. It's oh. good for you. Okay. And, um, and then the other one is just cooking um, oil. Yeah, that's normal. Normal cooking, cooking oil. oil. So and you have the purpose. Mm -hmm. You have the onions, powdered pepper, the um, tomato paste, tomato puree, mm -hmm. chilies, tomatoes. Tomato, you mean tomatoes, yeah. salt to taste, yes, and then that is our rice. And, that, and, and that's the rice. So, mm. as I do this, let me put a, a bit of salt. Not, not a lot. Then I'll put some pepper on it. Mm. It seems you're very some... particular about the amount of um, pepper and garlic that you're using. Is there yes. any reason why? No, you don't put too much of anything in anything. As you well. <clears throat> you put enough so that. It becomes tasty. Okay. Now that I've done this, I have to do the same. So as you can see, Dr. Latte has made some holes in here to put his garlic into. Um, I'm sure other people would like to also steam their meat with a blended garlic, onions, and then ginger as well. But he chooses to put only garlic in it to bring out the flavor of the meat. Isn't that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. So we are, we are still adding um, the olive oil. Yes, can I put salt and pepper? Salt to taste. And pepper. You don't put too much salt, enough salt, mm. because salt, too much salt is not good for you. Mm. It's 
Because why don't nearly forgot the black pepper? Black pepper. I think we have some. Let me grab that for you. We have the white and the black as well, whichever you prefer. Gentlemen, watch properly. You know, don't, don't just shoot. <laughs> when you go home, go and try it. Maybe your wife will be so happy that you're helping her in the kitchen. She would love you so much after you've been able to prepare something like this for oh, her. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> I see. You have to spoil your wife sometimes. She doesn't have to cook all the time. Mm. Where's the black pepper? This is the black pepper. Before we put this in the oven, um, I think we'd have to wear this. If that may help you. Yeah. Okay. Inside that. They actually look really good in the apron. I love cooking. So now that is gone, we can do. The so this sheep. is going into the oven. particular temperature with which you're cooking this? Well, it's 200. 200, okay. And then, later on, I'll put 500 for a while. Okay, so Dr. Latte, now that our lamb is in the oven, what next? The next thing is to cook the rice. To cook the rice, okay. Uh, I need that cup, that white cup, for it? Okay, <clears throat> let me grab that for you. The easiest way to cook rice is you don't know how to cook rice. <laughs> I, I wonder who wouldn't know how to cook for rice. For the young people who are watching, uh, or who may be watching, if you take any cup or any container, you, okay, you put, you put your rice in it. Here. Let me grab that for you. The cup wasn't full. If you get no, a just full, a quarter full, no. um, half full. If you get a full glass, so the last two. Mm. That's three. Three. Do you grow rice as well? I've tried growing rice, but <clears throat> not started. I've got the lamp for it, so we'll be growing rice very soon. <clears throat> Is that enough? Okay, so let me wash so, that. Okay, please. I hope that is enough. Yes, and how many, how many times do we put the rice in that we put? Um, I think we've put four oh. cups. So we need four, eight. So I should wash it eight times. No, put water. Eight times. Of that cup. Of that cup. In I that. must have put in about eight already. Even more. No, there's no water in it now. We need to cook. Where is the pan? Oh, to cook? Yeah. This is, okay, okay. Where is the pan? So I'll transfer this into the pan yes. and then Pour eight cups of water it, yeah. since it's four cups that you use. Yes. Okay. And that will cook perfectly. Okay. Let me take it back then. Okay, so let me cover this up. Do you need salt in the rice? Oh. No, salt. <clears throat> no salt whatsoever. Okay. Dr. Latte, I think I'm going to invite our chef to yeah. join us. Okay. To make sure mm -hmm. that we're on course and everything is going on just fine. So, Chef Michael, if he's here. The way you slice your tomatoes, it's a little bit different. Yes. Why do you slice it into such because, small sizes? Because normally people would go and buy a chopped tomatoes. You know the chopped ones. 
You can do it at home. You don't need to go and buy the chopped tomato that costs you a fortune. Oh. But by chopping it, it's easier for it to marinate in the oil. Okay. That's the only reason why I, I do it myself because I've happened to go yes. and buy a very expensive. So the onions are going in first. Yeah. The, there's oil in the pan already. Yes. Can I take this away? No, no. Or you have more to chop on it. Okay, so viewers, we've been joined by Chef Michael from the Swiss Spirit Hotels, Alisa. And uh, Chef, welcome. Thank you. Thank so, you. as you can smell the aroma already, yeah. we are already, um, we've already gotten down to business. Our lamp is cooking here. Okay. He's marinated it, spiced it with um, garlic and um, his powdered pepper. He added black pepper as well, a little mm. bit of salt, and okay. then um, used the olive oil to spray it a little bit, okay. yes. So he's now chopping his tomatoes to add to the onions in oil on fire. Okay. So this is where we are now. And he's preparing roast lamb with tomato sauce, sauce. and rice. Wow. Dr. Latte, you meet Chef Michael. Hello, Chef. Hey, Doctor. Yes, mm -hmm. it's nice to have you around. Yes, Doctor. I'm pleased to work yeah. with you today. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of time I eat out, so it's nice for you to see that I don't just eat out. I can cook. I can cook. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Sorry, I think I can leave you and allow Doctor yeah. to continue with cooking. I'll, I'll come back and see how far Doctor has reached. Please don't go too far, because I'll be needing you soon. Sure. Okay? <laughs> okay. You. Now, Doc, you mentioned that this is the bachelor way. Let's talk about yeah. family. You know, um, I know you have a very beautiful daughter who is um, not based here in Ghana. Okay. And your brothers and sisters. Yes, I have a lovely family. Mm. My elder sister is in the US. Mm. And my other brother is, is also a credit broker in the UK. He's visiting at the moment. Oh. And then my younger sister was in Minnesota for so many years. She's all helping GACO. <clears throat> you know GACO, the women ministry. Mm. So that's what my sister is. And then I have another brother, Peter, who is a pastor at Assemblies of God. What's, what's your favorite song at the girls. moment? Favorite Ghanaian song? Oh, there's so many. I can't choose one, but choose I, one. I, I want to, to sing to you whilst you're cooking, to motivate you, because I, I mean, I am. My mouth is watering for this meal. Any song from um, Shatawale, Shatawale, yeah. I like Shatawale, and and the old old guys. I like um, Ambule. Ambule. Okay. <clears throat> I like um, Pat Thomas. Performance. Okay. I like ben let, me, let me let me try and sing an Ambule song for you. And then you take two seconds break and then just probably give me a shoulder dance. Okay. I don't know how to do the show. <laughs> I'll show try. Me. Okay, let me show you. Show okay, go this. Samana, ma, to the ma, to the ma, to the ma. In our history lesson today, we are profiling Dr. Henry Latte. Dr. Henry Herbert Latte is the flag bearer of the Great Consolidated Popular Party, a champion for the economic improvement of the people of Ghana and an inspired Pan-Africanist and visionary with hopes for a united Africa. Born in Osu Christianburg, Accra, on the 13th of February 1954, Henry was raised in a politically active household. He is the elder son of the late Danlati, who was the founder and leader of the Great Consolidated Popular Party. A sheep in its first year is called a lamb, and its meat is also called lamb. The meat of a juvenile sheep older than one year is hogget. Outside the USA, this is also a term for the living animal. The meat of an adult sheep is mutton, a term only used for the meat, not the living animals. The term mutton is almost always used to refer to goat meat. So, Doc, our sauce is on fire, the rice is also boiling. Mm -hmm. Can we quickly check on our meat? Okay, why not? Let me get that. See where. 
duck. Would you check if it's cooking just fine? It's doing just right. Okay. Let's put that back in. All right. So, Don, what next? The puree should have gone in earlier on. I, I forgot about it, but it's not too late to this put in the puree. Okay. The tomato puree. So, you put just a little in there. Yeah, not a lot. <clears throat> Do you want to stay? Uh, So, Doc, how well is the great consolidated um, popular party faring? Oh, we're, we're very strong at the moment. Mm. The election is over, so everybody's relaxing yeah. for a while. <clears throat> but we started building the party of when my father died. Mm. <clears throat> I went to some of our executives, went around the whole country mm. and built up every constituency. Mm. So, we're in every constituency. Our last uh, Congress was a huge one, it was incredible in Kumasi. Wow. It was big, over 3,500 delegates came. Wow, 3,500? Yeah, we had Muta Baruka and um, Tony Rebel from Jamaica. Yeah. It's a great occasion. The members were all very, very happy. Yeah. You can see now there's a lot of problems with the EC. And now there's a petition. And they're going to look into all these things and decide whether... By 2020, they are sure coming back stronger. Oh yes, we'll, okay. we'll come back. We're in politics to try and help. Not for the sake of just being in politics, try and help. But... So this is scary powder. This is scary powder, yeah. Okay, so you're adding that to your sauce. A bit of it. I like curry also, I use curry quite often. Yeah, I even do Indian curry, but I didn't yeah. think it was a good idea. Otherwise I've done the Indian curries. Mm, this so. is coming out real good. The aroma, it's, yes. it's something else. A bit more oil in it. Okay, so we're adding a little bit more oil. So the food is really, really, really giving out some amazing aromas right now. I mean, I can't wait. Um, I've done it for so many years, I don't even have to taste it. I know it's going to taste good. I know that every year, annually, you, you, you have this, you host this um, homo war feast um, in your home. I have had the privilege to even be there one time and there are a lot of personalities, very important people that are invited. And the Gary photo is just amazing. You know? <laughs> it's not Gary photo. <laughs> it's uh, Quickly. Quickly. Well, I wouldn't call it Gary photo from where I come from mm. because I'm an LA, so. And um, so, what, what what inspired that? Um, it's a celebration. It's a, it's a celebration. It's a celebration. When I was young, my grandfather, mm. who I was named after, my grandfather was the assistant colonial secretary. Okay, so between 1947, 1932, 1947, mm. it's called Henry Herbert Mom. Yes. So, growing up, he used to do that. Organize. The feast. Mm. So when I came back from the UK, I decided to continue. Okay. So, Doc, but when, when my mother died, I decided that. Doc. When your mother died, you decided mm. that you wouldn't go yes. along with it anymore. So we've added the green yeah. pepper to it. Yes. Okay. This is sauce a la Henry. Sauce what? A la Henry. Sauce a la Henry. Yeah. That's the name. So viewers. It's my own. Sauce a la Henry. <laughs> Is in the making right now, as you can see. Sorry. And then this will go in. Oh. Sauce a la Henry. Okay, we are adding a blended tomato to it. Blended. I think we can use all. Okay. This is our blended tomato. It's just too sure it's good. Dr. Platy. What else is going to go into our sauce? Because it looks like it's almost done. Yes, I'm going to put in some spices. Spices? Um, white pepper. White pepper. And yeah. we have very spices. There's fish, there's beef, there's mixed spices. 
and there's even one special one for jollof. But seeing as we're not doing jollof, I'm sure the meat one would be okay. fine for this, if you don't mind. So the white pepper has gone in, this is the black pepper. Black and this pepper. is the same black pepper we use to um, marinate the lamb. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. No. Let's not forget that bakushito is in there. And then there's the big green pepper as well. Mm. So three different types of chilies have, have gone in there. Can you, can you try your spice yes, that yes, you mentioned sure, about? Sure. Sure, it's not delicious. I've not okay, tasted so dog, there's the nutmeg powder. Mm -hmm. There's the chicken seasoning powder. Yes. And there's the Remy mixed spices seasoning powder. Which is your choice? I think I'll use the Remy. The mixed, mixed spices. Spice. Great. Yeah. So let me take this back. So we are adding our Remy mixed spices into our sauce. The sauce a la Henry. That is the special name that Dr. Henry has given to her sauce. The color is purple. The color is purple. Almost purple. So how do you know when it's done? I think there's no blood coming out. Okay. <clears throat> there's no blood coming. Okay. But I can still it's see the cool. inner is quite red. What is going to do is turn the color. Yeah. Mm. Sauce is almost done. Yes. The rice is almost cooked, and like you said, the lamb is also almost done. Since mm -hmm. there's no blood in it, so I like to invite Chef Michael back to make oh, sure hello. that we are on course. Chef Michael, please come around and have a look at how far Dr. Henry has come. Oh, Doctor, nice. I can already smell some nice flavors here. Yeah. <sighs> okay, is that a special way to, That's good. That's to special see? Way to oh, oh. see how things go nicely? Mm. Oh, well, I'm not spending anything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. good. So we are, we are working to go right. Yeah. Oh, the right way is done. almost done. And you can okay. check the so lamb. You are having the lamb to lamb. Check. Okay. How far it has gone? Oh, Doc, your lamb is almost cooked. My wind. Also, you want to check how things are cooked in the oven. Sometimes we have a piercer. Piercer is a very long distance, like a, a knife. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have it, you can have a very small knife like this. Okay. When you pierce and you see that it goes through, okay, that's it comes Dr. out. Did. Yeah. Also, pierce here. Mm -hmm. you so, see how that. do you know it's tender enough? It's and tender well enough. Yeah, well, as, when you do it, at least, for me, when you put it in pierce, you can when you pull, you can see blood coming. Okay. But right now, it, yeah. once it's almost cooked, you don't see any blood. Okay. Also, when it's not cooked and it's blood, when you also put it like this, yeah. and you check it with your hand, you can feel some blood or some sliminess. Uh, sliminess. But okay. when you see that it's very dry, you can see that your Meat thing is cooked. always cooked. Nice. Also, you can go inside. And also, what can also make our lamp when we are roasting something like this to become more uh, you are tender. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, if you want to do it, like maybe a day before, you marinate it nicely, put it in the fridge, maybe that ginger, garlic, mm -hmm. then you marinate it nicely, put it for maybe a day in the fridge, also makes the meat to become very tender. Oh. Okay, thank you. So, you're saying that, what, what you mean is, if you ma marinate the meat a day, before, a day before, it makes it even more tender. More tender, the juice, the Spicy, it's everything goes well inside and you make sure that you have everything. So that's when it tastes nice. even tastes more, nicer. More, more nicer. Because my, my nation makes things, the spicy, the flavor, mm. everything comes out. Okay. 
very nicely. And one of the special, those who normally drink and lost in, and if you have a wine, you can even put it into a wine. Soak in the wine, put all your herbs. Soak the meat in wine? Yeah, in wine, a red wine. Okay. Yeah, you can see all the flavor. So when you and soak when you it in red it, wine, at that moment, have you added the ginger, the garlic, and all the ginger, other spices? Ginger, the garlic, everything. You put it inside and you put it in your fridge. Oh, Always wow. make sure it's in your fridge, not yeah. freezer fridge. The you temperature know, of five degrees. I realized that um, Dr. Henry only made the holes with the knife and then puts in the garlic. So I ask, is there any other way that you can marinate it as well? Probably like the normal way we know, blending um, the ingredients together and then making the holes, cutting it and putting it inside. Is that also? Yeah, is that also. Okay. That's why I say cooking has so many types and so many methods. Yeah. You're also in the same thing. You can blend everything together, wrap everything, in, make a, a, a stitches inside there. Mm. A, a, a meat, then you put in all your blended items. That's yeah. what I also nicely. know that when some people are, um, um, you know, cooking their meat in the oven, mm. they wrap it with the foil. Oh, yeah, they wrap it for. Sometimes also it's very good. That one that sometimes it takes a little longer, especially mm. when you are roasting something like turkey for yeah. Christmas. You take a foil, you wrap it, that's why you leave it very nice. That one it goes it for hours. That, but then to ensure that it is cooked it, 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 properly. It's cooked properly. You Put in a very low temperature, okay. between 120, 140 degrees Celsius. Then okay. you make sure you everything. With that one too, also you get every juice. No, nothing goes out. Mm. And the same juice when you, so you like finish, mm, <laughs> you pour it nicely and make a rose gravy out of it. Now, and oh, use it to oh, okay. It. <laughs> so that so you mean that when you put the meat in the foil mm. and then you spice it, mm. you marinate it. Usually when you're taking it out, you mm. see you mm. still have some of some, the, the juice, sauce, sauce and, the and everything on it. Don't so you can away. use oh, it to make a sauce. A sauce out of wow. it. Use now it to we eat started um, roasting our lamb mm. at 200 degrees, 200 degrees and then we went to 180. 180. So it's still at 180 at the what, moment what, and that is how we are cooking our yeah. lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Don't worry, now. Right now, it's okay. Now, the temperature that is within 180 is okay. So, right, it will cook gradually. That's the real cooking temperature of meat, those uh, tough meat. Supposing it's a Thumbs small a, a, a chicken, oh, no. mm -hmm. the, the, the more heavier the item is, the more that you give, the more it is. Because you have to cook. But once, start up from 200, then bring it down to 180. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Doctor, it seems like you are a chef. Because you are using the temperatures correctly. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I've finished He's now. Right. He's getting everything mm. right. Let me just put it off. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. everything here has mm. gone in. Mm. Okay, so finally, I'm drawing the curtains on our sauce. So, our sauce is done. Let's thank check you. on our rice. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you, Doctor. I Give a handshake or a high five at least. Yeah. I'll, I'll be your help. Sure. <laughs> okay, so this is our rice. Let's check it as well. Chef Michael. No, oh, it's good. It's good. Mm, yeah, let's see if it's all. Give me some teaspoon fresh teaspoon and I'll try and see. Since I've run out of teaspoons, so we just have to <laughs> Don't do worry, that, that's better. A tablespoon. So I'm going to taste how our rice is, and from my professionally, how you, you ask to, and that's why sometimes we taste food. Yeah. Once this delicious is a lot, and we are not going to eat it alone, we're going to eat it for other people so that we don't also transfer any bacteria into it. We we'll make sure that everything goes nice. So you take this one nicely with your this one. So the spoon that is going to your mouth doesn't touch this one. Or even if it's touch, it doesn't go in again. Okay. Very slowly, like this. And then you taste it. Taste it. Mm. How come Chef Michael gets to taste mm. everything first? Once mm. we have been doing the mm. job. Mm. Is it fair, Dr. Dr. Latte? Mm. Is this fair? I think it's fair. It's, been, it's fair? Mm, yeah. I don't think but it's fair. Doctor, I think it's good, but I don't taste any salt inside. That's really organic food. Yes, I, you that's know. Perfect. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect. I do organic exports. Mm. Oh. So I don't... That is perfect. Yeah, absolutely. And you see? So when the person wants the sauce, he can add it. But once you are cooking, you take the salt out and it's okay. Because salt is a lot of things that is killing us. Absolutely. You have to be straight out of there's it. There's enough salt good. In, in the cereal, so Perfect. there's no point putting salt in the rice as well. Okay, so, so Chef Michael, mm. if, if I could have right, you, you said that you can actually add salt to rice that is already cooked. You know, if you people, so desire. No, no, on the table, there's salt and pepper. 
Okay. Those who want it can help themselves okay. there. But to help everything, salt. We can decide from salt. Okay. All right. So <laughs> our food is finally done. The battle is over. Our sauce, um, that is sauce a la Henry, as you can see, looking so good. Okay. Let me check the love. Bring it out as well. Okay, so Michael, I think you need to help me with that. The rice is nicely cooked to perfection. Ta da! This is our lamb. Thank you so much. Dr. Latte. So finally the food is done or ready to be served. We'd like to say a big thank you to Swiss Spirit Hotels Alisa where our kitchen is located to Enapa Enapa Ede Sukusuku and to Remy Spices which um, Dr. Latte used the mixed spices for the sauce a la latte. We have the Remy uh, mixed spices, we have the Remy fish, we have the Remy beef, we have the special one for Jollof as well, Remy Emejaniyede. And to high sense for this beautiful oven that you see here that has cooked the lamb to perfection at the accurate temperature, you can only get this from high sense, home of affordable and quality appliances and electronics. Let's head for the dining and taste this food to make sure that it tastes as good as it looks. Let's go. Dr. Latte, do you like, do you, do you like red wine? I love red wine. <clears throat> it's very Any good. Any particular wines? Oh, mostly French, South African, oh. some Italian I guess as well. South Africans have very good wines. They're very, very good wines, yes. And I hear it's good for the blood. Absolutely. I mean, Even it pumps the heart as well. It helps to pump the heart, right? <laughs> because it's red. Because it's red. <laughs> <laughs> but what are some of the, I mean, um, benefits of red wine? Oh, red, red wine, as you said, because it's good. You know, most of this have a strong alcohol drink, doesn't help the mm. heart. But as those doctors or those dietitians said, that it's good to take new red wine. Mm. Yeah. You don't know the reason why? Oh, the, not the reason why, but once they have advice, it's good. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I know is good. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> thank you very much. Can we toast? Yeah. Okay, so cheers. 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 To, cheers. to the chef. Sauce to the chef. <laughs> to, to our doctor. Allah. Thank you. Thank you. And to Sally. Yes. You're doing so well. Thank you. And to Allah. Sauce yes. Allah, uh, Henry. Thank you. Yeah. Chef, will you do us the honest one? Seven for you. Okay. Doctor, I have the permission to serve your delicious food. Permission granted. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, we can't wait. Yeah, let me turn up when first going for my meat. Like it, sure. Yeah. Nice. Of course. I was gonna come in 
one time I went to cook, it's a different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. together. I've done this for years. But then when I was in front of the cameras, I was, my mind was all going with the planet. <laughs> so they're going to go right. But we've done a very good thing. Especially when they tell time when you are roasting the lamb, mm -hmm. you use a good temperature and that's good. That's good. That makes the and lamb. And it's so properly cooked. Very nicely. Very Thank nicely. You. The sauce is amazing. So clean. And I can taste all the ingredients, almost all of it. I can feel the mm -hmm. ginger on my tongue. I can feel the garlic, mm -hmm. you know. The onions are large in there. I'm almost full. I've had a small time. I'm sure I'm going to bag this for myself only. Oh. Yes, and take everything <laughs> home. This is so delicious. Yeah, Honestly, so I mean, this is, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm highly impressed, you know. Very delicious. So tonight, Dr. Um, Henry Herbert Latte has treated us to mm. roast lamb with tomato sauce and rice. Of course, with the help of our able chef, Chef Michael from the Swiss um, Spirit Hotels Alisa, located at Laboni. And I'm sure, um, Chef Michael, you've had a small time too. Yeah. You've enjoyed it, haven't really you? Enjoyed it. I see your plate is mm -hmm. empty. I want to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, probably I'm a little bit shy. I'm waiting for the cameras to be off of me, then I can I can dive into this um, delicious looking roast lamb. So, viewers, um, Doc, I have a special surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. For treating us to this delicious meal. Let me start with the big one, I call it. This is the King Kong phone from Hisense. And I mean, it's a privilege to have it, be the first one of the first to have it and to use it. So I present this to you from African Port. Wow. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you very much. And then we have the little one. Perfect, that's nice. This package is from Enapa. As you can see, we have the macro and rice as well. So sure. as you're a very good chef or cook, I'm sure you're going to put this to very sure. good use. Of course. And please, do invite us to come and dine once again in your home. <laughs> on my Before rooftop, you go, yes. You right. promised me a dance. And so I'm sure you're happy with what I've given you, aren't you? I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed, Thank good. You. So we're going to dance to celebrate it. And well. I've requested a Shatawale song for you since it's your favorite artist. Or oh, is there any particular that I want to song you like? I don't mind. Um, I hope I can dance badly for everybody to see. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. DJ, if you're ready, please. Oh, thank you. Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, it's a cow. I'm going low, why are you joining me? i Okay, Chef Michael, you can join us. Uh, this is what happens when you eat eating delicious food and you become so satisfied and you're so happy. Uh, oh dear. Ooh. Viewers, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure you, you've had an amazing time with us. We're right here at the Swiss Spirit Hotels Alisa where the African Pot Kitchen is located. Special thank you to our sponsors from Swiss Spirit Hotel Salisa to Enapa Ede Sokusoko, to Remy Spices, Remy Emedrani Ede, and of course to Hisense, Hisense Home of Affordable, the most affordable and quality, top quality home appliances and electronics. I'd like to say a big thank you for um, Dr. Henry Herbert Latte, flag bearer of the great consolidated popular party who is also a financial advisor and an entrepreneur and mm -hmm. also to our chef chef michael thank you so much always nice to have you around you're welcome. You're welcome. 
So on this note, we say bye-bye and catch you same time next week. My name is Selika Difiao.